I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll explore the reduction formula for integral of sine to the power of nx. The formula is given here. Integral of sine to the power of nx dx is equal to minus 1 over n cos x sine to the power of n minus 1x plus n minus 1 over n integral of sine n minus 2x dx. We get this formula using integration by parts. Now let us see how to derive this. You can see that we started with integral of sine to the power of n and we made a combination of with sine to the power of n minus 2. So we kind of reduce the power by 2. Now if you do this process at the end you could get sine to the power of 0 or 1 depending on whether n is even or odd and that helps you to integrate any function with uh, powers of sine, correct? So that is kind of a repeated process by which you can find the integral. Now let us prove this formula. So we are working with integral of sine to the power of n of x dx. We want to write this as product of two functions. So, so we could write this as product of sine x or let's say sine n minus 1x and sine x, right? So that is dx. So as you can see, we have product of two functions here. So one of them can be u, the other one will be v, dv, right? So accordingly, we will apply this formula and then write down our result, right? <clears throat> now, we should select this as u since we want simpler derivatives. So we'll write u, well, let me write down here, u equals to sine n minus 1x and let's say dv is sine x dx, right? Now what is du equals to? du equals to n minus 1 sine to the power of n minus 2x dx, right? And if you integrate this, we get v equals to minus cos x dx, right? Now we can apply the formula for parts and write down the integral for the given function. So we'll multiply these two, that is u times v, and then we'll take away product of these two, right? With the integral sign. So that's the whole idea. So let me write down this. So we have integral of sine to the power of nx dx as equal to product of these two will give us minus cos x and this is uh, sine n minus 1x dx minus integral of product of these two. So we have minus that makes it plus right cos x and here we have I should have written n minus 1 first anyway n minus 1 sine n minus 2x right okay so so when we found the derivative I forgot to write uh, this was incomplete it is derivative of inside function which is cos x right so that should have been there right times cos x dx correct so that is what you get when you multiply these two you know derivative of sine to the power of n minus 1 x is n minus 1 times sine to the power of 1 less cos x the derivative of sine x dx correct okay now what do we observe here uh, let me just rewrite this we have cos square x do you see we have cos square x so i could replace cos square x by let me write down on the side. So we have these two terms, which is cos square x. So I'll replace cos square x with 1 minus sine square x. Okay. So we could write this as minus cos x sine to the power of n minus 1x dx plus, I'm taking n minus 1 outside the brackets integral now we have uh, let me write sine n minus 2x 
and then cos square x right so instead of cos square x I'm writing 1 minus sine square x dx correct okay so now we could factor this out I mean expand it so we have minus cos x sine n minus 1 x dx <coughs> plus so when multiply by n so there are two terms here so we'll say n minus 1 integral sine n minus 2 x this is when you multiply by 1 dx right and then when you multiply by this one we get minus n minus 1 integral of when you this is n minus 2 when you multiply by sine square it becomes sine to the power of nx correct so we get sine to the power of nx dx right so so when you multiply this by this what you get is is this right so powers add up so n minus 2 plus 2 gives you n right so now what you observe here is that this factor is same as what we started with so we can take this to the left side right so we could take this to the left side and rearrange so what we have here is so so we can write this as integral of sine to the power of nx dx and when you take it on this side it is plus n minus 1 times integral of sine nx dx equals to so we can now write down rest of the things here which is minus cos x sine n minus 1 x dx oh. when you integrate there is no dx right I'm sorry and should not have been writing this okay plus we have n minus 1 times integral of sine n minus 2 x dx correct so when you integrate you just get minus cos x plus c you get we will write plus c at the end okay now when you combine these terms we have sine to the power of nx plus n minus 1 so minus 1 will cancel this out so we have n times integral of sine to the power of nx dx on this side which is equal to minus cos x sine to the power of n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 integral of sine n minus 2 x dx right now we can divide by n so if I divide by n I get integral of sine to the power of n x dx equals to so this gives us minus 1 over n cos x sine n minus 1 x right plus n minus 1 divided by n integral of sine n minus 2 x dx right so that is how you can prove this reduction formula okay so follow the steps what you see or observe here is that whenever we have trigonometric function with powers then we may have to integrate or apply this integration by parts a couple of times and I hope this formula helps you to sometimes uh, do the things faster uh, you must have seen in earlier videos that if we have higher powers of sine and cosine uh, we also prefer to solve those by using double angle formulas correct so uh, remember that also that is let me write a note here uh, so if you have integral of let us say uh, sine to the power of 4x kind of right uh, dx uh, you could use formulas which are uh, related with the uh, cos 2x right so you know cos 2x is equals to 1 minus 2 sine square x so that also helps you to find so normally if you have just this to do we'll prefer to use 
substitution or we need we prefer to simplify the trigonometric expression using this formula right uh, where of course you have sine squared x equals to 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2 right so when you change this to whole square and simplify that is easier approach at times but in case you have to derive this or use it you can always use it I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps thank you and all the best